Hello, welcome to Tony's Bonsai. It's not a long video today. I've just got a couple of updates I wanted to show you and I'm going to start off with this juniper. If you saw the video from, it's about a month ago now, uh, this branch I decided to turn into a gin. So I worked it quite hard and then I applied this wire to hopefully add some movement to the wood as it dries. So now's the time to, time to take this wire off and see if it's held its new shape. Before I remove the wire, you may have noticed there are a couple of dead branches. I could also gin this branch, which I may do. So I'm going to leave it in place just like that for the time being. I positioned the camera in a place where hopefully you can see this movement that I've added into this piece of wood. And as I now remove this, we'll just have to see, and hopefully it maintains that shape. Apparently this is only supposed to take around a couple of weeks to dry. But I thought I'd leave it four weeks just to make sure, just to give it every chance of being fully dry. And I'm just, Removing this, uncoiling the wire. I'm being careful because, you know, the, the, you could make a good case for me cutting this wire off, but I just don't like wasting wire. I can't stand it. And if I can save the wire, I'll, I'd rather struggle a bit. There we go, seems to be holding quite nicely so far. Sounds to me like what I've been told, which is that these juniper gins do hold the shape. It's true. I suppose I've no reason to believe that, that it isn't true, but until you do something yourself, you don't really, you don't really know. There we go, so oh, I think that's worked really well and it's much more interesting than it would have been otherwise, so I'm happy with that. If I just rotate it round now, you can see that kind of shape that I've got and I took a lot of material off in order to make this a lot thinner and I'm glad I did because I don't like gins when they look really big and thick and clunky. I like them to look quite slender and graceful and I think that really sort of works in proportion with the rest of the tree. Seeing as that gin worked well, I think I will keep this, this branch here as a gin. How easily I'll be able to get the bark off this I don't know because this has been dead a while this branch so I'm not working with fresh material as I was with the other with the other gin. It does seem to be coming off but it's just taking more work so I'm having to kind of really grind it off. I'll try that technique where I just split the end and pull it. Well that was a big that was a big piece. I wasn't planning on getting quite that much off but that's okay. It's going to take me ages to get that off so I'll do that now off camera. It took me five minutes there to uh, to get this off. I've got most of it off, but I'm not bothered about completely stripping all the bark off. That rest of it will just slowly come off over the next couple of years. So there's no rush. You can't rush bonsai, so. I'm just painting lime sulfur on it now, just to give it that nice white appearance and to hopefully protect this wood over the winter. And this is, uh, it's looking quite good I think, considering it was, uh, it was a bit of a conundrum for me, because I was unsure 
sort of how to deal with this this thick branch and I asked I asked my subscribers to say what they'd do and the majority answer was to do what I've done which is remove remove the branch well not remove it but gin it because it was just too heavy a bit like this branch really Th this one is just too long and straight so what I may do is I may wire that next year and that's my plan my plan is to let the tree grow healthy and then get some thick wire on and manipulate this branch I'll not do it now though because it has been struggling a bit this tree ever since I bought it in terms of branches dying off and so I've got to be careful that I don't sort of add any more stress and give the tree any more reasons to shed more branches which I definitely don't want it to do although if that's the destiny of the tree then that's what I work with so this is going great I'm happy with that now to the shari this branch here was one that I think also died and I decided to gin instead of just remove and as I was removing it a piece of it came off and I pulled it down deliberately to produce this I think quite natural looking shari and I think if this can callous over on the edges and roll roll over as they say if it can do that I think that could end up looking quite nice my plan for this tree next year is definitely to do something with this long thin branch to hopefully start refining the branches down a bit and maybe bringing the length of them in to make it a bit more compact but apart from that for now as I say let that grow healthily and if nothing else it's developing a bit of character I think so let's move on to the next tree although it's only a, a couple of weeks really since I worked on this tree this is the hawthorn root over rock that I had very really low hopes of surviving but it seems to be doing okay about 50% of the leaves dropped off within probably the first week they just died and shriveled up but these ones have stayed green and it gives me some hope for the future of this which is great I've just brought you in for a cl closer look and you can see why I really like this tree it's got this wonderful dip in shape which I put over this rock and then on the other side the roots come down and go into the ground there and hopefully this can be a root over rock and fingers crossed now stay healthy and let's see you next year my final tree is this dwarf rhododendron that I worked on earlier this year it's got some wonderful shape and base it's only small but I really worked on the structure to get something which I think could work really nicely however the reason I'm showing it here is it's coming to flower again in the end of August you can see from this angle it's absolutely packed with flowers and buds and I'm sure that can't be right at this time of year I'm not an azalea or a rhododendron expert in fact come to think of it I'm not a bonsai expert <laughs> but uh, I know particularly little about this species or varieties what if anyone's got any advice what should I do with this I, I'm not interested in how it looks now I just want it to be the healthiest it can be for next year I'm a better just cutting all these branches in half just cutting the flower heads off or should I let it flower first I just don't know what to do so if you've got any information on that I'd really appreciate hearing feedback from people who know what they're talking about thanks for joining me just a quick video today and as always have a great day I'll see you soon